In this video, we're going to create a formula report using insert member and the insert value dialogues. We're going to create a formula report that shows the reseller sales amount across six sales regions through 2012 through to 2015. So first, we go to connections and we choose our data source. In this case, we'll be using AdventureWorks. So let's insert the measure reseller sales amount. So click on insert formula and select members. In the insert member dialog, select the hierarchy and find reseller sales amount. We'll give this a heading of measure. Now we'll insert a list of countries on rows. We go back to the insert member lookup dialog and find geography. We're going to use all of the countries And now we're going to put the years on columns. It's important here that we change the radio button from insert down to insert right. You'll see what this does when the dialog is closed. Now that we have the framework of the report, we need to bring in the numbers. So we can insert an XL3 lookup statement First on measures, then on geography, and lastly on calendar year. We then pick the cell location that contains these values. For example, the measure is reseller sales amount in cell D5. The geography we want to report is Australia in cell C8 and the calendar year is 2012 in cell D7. Once we've completed the XL3 lookup statement, we can press F2 to show us the composition of the XL3 lookup statement. The first part is the cube connection, followed by a series of paired arguments specifying the hierarchy, followed by the member to retrieve for that hierarchy, as you can see on the screen now. Now we're going to change the lookup statement so that the absolute and relative cell referencing will reflect the fact that the dates are changing across columns and the countries are changing across the rows. I'll do this now. So once we've done that, we can click and drag the lookup formula to copy it to all the other cells. And as you can see, the report now shows the reseller sales amount for each of the six geographies from 2012 through to 2015. We can double click on a country and it will drill down to show the values at the state or provincial level. And if we want to change the measure that's being reported, we just need to double click it and select the measure that we require. So we'll change the reseller sales amount to reseller order quantity. All our XL3 lookups are referencing cells which contain XL3 member formulae, however it is also possible to reference text cells. If I overtype a member, for example, I can remove Australia from the report and instead report United States. As you can see, the date of United States now appears twice. The cell can be populated through manual entry, combo boxes or formulae and gives formula reporting a great deal of flexibility.